very designation of those terms moves us into contemplation, that we could actually call God Father, which was the great scandal of the revelation of Jesus Christ, that God was so personal that we could call him Father. And of course, Satan has been trying to drag us away from that personal relationship since the beginning of time. Because in that revelation of God being personal contains all of our happiness and all of our healing. To contemplate, to pray, is to behold the beauty of God. And beauty is simply the radiation of the truth of who God is. And as we let the beauty of God affect us more and more, more deeply, then slowly and imperceptibly over our discipline of giving God time, His truth penetrates us. And His being changes our identity. If we stay in the presence of beauty long enough, you will be changed and you will receive a new identity. And of course, Jesus' face is the face of the Father. When we contemplate, we cannot only, we cannot but contemplate only Jesus. For this is how the Father chose to reveal himself. Hans Urs von Balthasar said that the most beautiful reality that we have ever seen is Calvary. The face of the Father revealing his true intentions toward us. We only know God's true intentions toward us when we behold the beauty of Calvary. So when you pray, do not babble like the pagans do. Behold the beauty of Calvary. The Father's revelation of his love for us. And when you do that, you will be changed. And as you contemplate more and more this beauty, in other words, as you look into the beauty of God, the beauty of God will establish itself in you. And you will be living in what I would call the most emotionally safe place on earth. Prayer, contemplation. And when you are receiving this beauty as a regular habit of your interior life, then the second most powerful thing about prayer will happen. You will feel so safe immersed in the beauty of the Father's love, who is Christ, that you will cry out for healing, and you will be healed. And as you abide in this most emotionally safe place, prayer, you must be very specific about what you need healing for. The more specific you are, the more concrete you are, the more the master, the spiritual physician, the one who loves us, will be able to pour oil and wine right into your wound just like the Good Samaritan. As men, sometimes we are afraid to get very specific with our healing needs. 
As an example, what's our favorite physician as men, especially men in the Western world? The emergency room. So many men don't even have physicians because they are afraid of the physician. And why are they afraid of the physician? Because when they go to the doctor, they know they will not get away with this line. Doctor, I'm here because I hurt. The doctor is going to ask a frightening question. Where? That's why we don't go to doctors. That's why we go to emergency rooms. Because we know that the physician is going to work at the site of the pain. In prayer, in this place of beauty, where you are the safest, let Jesus work at the site of the pain. And in this way, when you're very specific with your malady, it will be beauty that will heal you. Prayer is the place where beauty meets pain. And beauty triumphs. Jesus, work at the sight of our pain.